Hi, I'm Lorraine Walker, owner of Silverbridge Coffee Company. And today we're gonna to talk a little bit about decaffeinated coffee, how coffee is decaffeinated, and just give you a little bit of information on that. Now there's a lot of people who feel like they have to apologize for drinking decaf coffee, but you really don't. Everybody enjoys a cup of coffee in the afternoon or in the evening, and sometimes you just can't handle the caffeine. Often, people are under the doctor's order that you need to cut back on caffeine. And at Silverbridge Coffee, we still want to bring you great coffee, even if it's decaffeinated. And I think a little bit of information about the decaffeination process is really helpful for you as you're drinking decaffeinated coffee. So traditionally, there are two ways to decaffeinate coffee. There's a chemical process and a water process. Most people want to stay away from the chemical process. There's been studies done where trace amounts of chemical are left in the coffee after the decaffeinated process. So they wanna stick with a water process decaffeinated coffee. But you still have questions. How is coffee decaffeinated? How do they do that? So the first thing that you wanna know is that all coffee is decaffeinated in the green state. That means before it is roasted. And um, when you look at the green coffee before it's roasted, you can see that there's a difference between the decaffeinated coffee and regular unroasted coffee. And we refer to this as green coffee, even though it's not green. But all coffee is decaffeinated in the unroasted state. That happens before it comes to us. There's only a couple places in the world that decaffeinate coffee with the water process. And all coffee, even decaffeinated, caffeinated coffee has trace amounts of caffeine. In the US, in order for coffee to be considered decaffeinated, it has to have 97% of the caffeine removed. That means there is still 3% of the caffeine that can remain in the coffee. But before you freak out about that, a regular 12 ounce cup of coffee has 180 milligrams of caffeine in it, but a decaffeinated cup of coffee has 5.4 milligrams of caffeine. So it's a huge reduction in the caffeine that's in decaffeinated coffee. But a lot of times people will say, how much caffeine is in my cup of coffee? And that will give you kind of a baseline. So 180 milligrams of caffeine, as opposed to 5.4 milligrams of caffeine. When you decaffeinate coffee, and we're talking about the water process decaffeinated coffee, coffee is soaked in water and that allows the pores to open up and the caffeine is leached into the water, goes into the water. Also, all of the flavor compounds go into the water. The water is then taken, poured through a filter to remove the caffeine. And that is also known as green coffee extract, that highly caffeinated water. And what is left is water that has the flavor compounds, but no caffeine. The coffee that was placed in the water that had everything leached out of it is then discarded and a new batch of green coffee is put into that water and that's where the magic happens. The caffeine has been removed, the flavor compounds are still in the coffee. So as that second set of green coffee sits in the water, the caffeine comes out into the water, but the flavor does not. Coffee is then laid out to dry again so that all the moisture is removed and then it is shipped out to roasters where we roast the coffee. So you'll notice though that when coffee is roasted after the roast, you really can't see a difference between the decaffeinated and the regular coffee. More and more, the decaffeinated coffee is becoming better and better. Roasters are paying more attention to it. We pay more attention to our decaffeinated coffee. We wanna make sure that if you're drinking decaf, you still get a great cup of coffee. And we also have all of our flavors available in decaf. A lot of people, once they start drinking decaffeinated coffee, they can't find good flavored decaf. And everything that we have available for flavors, we have also in decaf. If you get the 614 blend and you want a decaf 614 blend, 
you might not be able to get the same blends in regular and decaf because we don't have the same coffees in the decaffeinated state. But we have a very nice medium roast Colombian decaf. We have a dark roast Peru. We have a Mexican that's a medium roast and we have a dark roast Sumatra. So those are the four decafs that we carry and we flavor our Colombia decaf. We also offer our decaf in single serve cups. And often you have a hard time finding decaffeinated coffee for your single serve brewer. We offer our regular coffee. We also offer a lot of our flavors in decaf for your single serve brewer. I hope that this video about decaffeination has answered some of your questions. We're always happy if you wanna reach out to us through our Facebook page. We're also on Instagram. We have a new TikTok that you can follow us on, but feel free to ask us questions because we love to talk coffee with our customers and with anyone who's interested in talking coffee.